All right, in this Excel lesson, I'm going to try to convert this uh, into English. I was somewhat daunted when I read this, but then I started playing with it and realized it's really not that bad. So, away from this and on to here. Basically, we're playing with text in this lesson, and uh, some of the um, formats, some of the formatting features that you have, uh, or functions, sorry, that, that you have. So. The five basic ones are here, but there are many, many, many more. And some of them deal specifically with text. So we're going to deal with, first of all, I'm going to show you these. So this one here will give you, it says, give me the left characters of A3. And here you tell it how many characters you want. So here I said, for A3, I want the left characters. I want the first two. Here I said, I want the left of A4, and I want the first four. That's it. That's all that character. That's all that means. Uh, I don't find myself using this one very often, but uh, the book says that you should know how to do this. So the test might ask you how to do it as well. Um, I'm going to go through them and then I'm going to demonstrate. This one says middle. So I'm at the middle of A3 and starting at three and the next number tells you how many you want. So this one, I said start at three, but I want four. This one, uh, same, I just wanted to show you that here I had five instead of four or three. Here is where you're able to stitch two cells together. This one I've actually used um, for this kind of situation. We have a first name and last name. So this has stitched B3 and A3. And I put them in, in this order because I wanted the first name first and then the last name. So the order in which you put these is important. Okay. Here... I put them backwards. Here I put last name first and first name last. So it does either or. Here it's the same formula, but what I did here is I added a quote and then a bunch of spaces and then a quote. Uh, and, and that allows you some space in between. Now, in the real world, you probably would only want one so that you'd have space between the first name and the last name. But the reason I put several spaces is because I wanted you to know about this other feature called trim which will trim all of the spaces in here except for one. So now it's trimmed it down to one. So that's what that feature does. And here it turns any text into upper. So here I said H3, give me uppercase. And of course the opposite, turn it into lowercase. Now, some of you are probably rolling your eyes thinking, when am I ever going to use this? Um, and I don't blame you, I, I did kind of the same. But again, I do use this one quite often. It does come in very, very handy at times. So. We're going to go through these so that you know how to do them. You can, of course, try to memorize them and type them out. However, I find this menu to be very, very useful. So here we're going to try to, we're going to do left. Um, uh, and we're going to do a certain amount of cells from the left. So I'm going to come here and more functions. And from here, you have a whole bunch of things to choose from and ask for text. So we're going to start with left. And then you hit OK. And this is very user friendly. It's asking which shell do you want to use so I can say I'm going to use that one and now it's asking how many characters so let's say you only want one you only want the first character you would hit this and you got the B next one middle so I'm going to come back to this menu more functions text and I'm looking for middle or mid there we go and now it's asking which cell so I can go back to here and saying start number so uh, let's see three and how many do you want? And I can say three. All right, so it's got now the middle three. Next is the, oh, I did the middle again. I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, maybe we should do right for an example here. So because right is in there as well. So I'm gonna go more functions. And right, and again, which cell? So I can click on the cell here. And how many do you want? And I can say three once again. And now I got the last three. All right. Now we're going to stitch them together. So back here. I'm not even going to try and say that because I'm going to mess it up. But that's the one. And it's asking, all right, which two do you want to stitch together? Now, this is the first name. So I'm going to put first name first. And then I'm going to put last name second, and then I'm going to hit OK. And now it's stitched those together. Now, 
If you wanted a space in there, you would simply come up into your formula bar, double quotes, space, double quotes, and I messed something up. Oh, I forgot the comma. You gotta put the comma here and enter. So now I've got the name the way it should appear. Now I'm gonna mess this up. I'm gonna put some extra spaces in here so that I can show you how this trim feature works. So I'm gonna trim that to one space. Um, I guess I'm going to do it uh, right here. Or I can do it here. So once again, more functions, text, and I'm looking for trim here. And it's saying, which, what do you want with your trim? I want you to trim that, and that's been trimmed. And now uppercase. So now that you see this being done, it's actually not difficult at all, but trying to read that gibberish was daunting. So I'm looking for upper, and what is it you want to do uppercase of, and it's that. And we're going to flip that around and go lower. Of that and there you go so know how to do those functions you've got left middle right stitch them together trim the spaces uppercase lowercase you need to know those for the test anyway